20. This is Road to the Show, Episode 1. Uh, we're on MLB 20. Uh, so, we, this is called, this episode is just entitled Sculpting of a Ball Player. We're going to create our ball player today. We're going to go through the top showcase. We are going to play in the top showcase, and we're going to figure out where we're going to be drafted. And then we're tr going to try and see how far we can get. So it might be a really extremely, it might, might be a, kind of a long video. So you all need to be ready and willing to sit back. You know, do whatever you got to do. If you got to get your tobacco in, go ahead and do that. Throw that in. I don't advocate dipping as well, but I do dip. So I'm just going to put that out there because I want people to know that, hey, I don't advocate dipping. Now, of course, my channel is not for kids because there is going to be some swearing maybe sometime in here. I just want to let you all know that. So that way we can get that out of the way. I will s probably say a few naughty words and stuff a few bad words and stuff so get ready for that and then um, we're gonna work on creating our ball player so let's get into it here now we have the one I uh, know what is funny here is you get this I like the flag it I like how the flags change it's so cool Aruba Aruba Bihama. come on pretty much Aruba. Da -da, da -da. I love, that's my favorite one, Born at Sea. Arr. <laughs> that's what it's called, it's Pirate. You've got Australia, Austria, Bahamas, Belarus, Brazil, Belize, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, China, Cuba, you know. Now I love how the flag changes for each country's flag, so it's cool. Germany, no. Suzuki. Then you got this. Nicaragua, Netherlands, Mexico, Hungary. Oh, there you go. You got Northern Ireland. Which is still, which is they still use a Union Jack because it is still part of the British Empire. But you got this, which is Ireland, which is where I'm was born. So cool. I mean, it's not there. I was so close to being this flag, but then I'm this flag, which is happy. From our dad was stationed. You got Philippines. Medi Pacquiao! Well, no. I don't know. I don't know any good players from Philippines or Poland. Our Puerto Rico. Well, there's a lot from Puerto Rico. You got Yadier Molina. Come on. Now, come on. Saudi Arabia. Their flag looks so intimidating. Serbia. Singapore. South Africa. Slovenia. South Korea. South Korea is cool. I love theirs. Cause it looks like a dojo flag. Then you got the Venezuela, this, you got Virgin Islands. Which is three, it's, it, you see, see, he has three arrows in his hand. In his claw, his, his right claw there. Alright, but, which means that there's only, there, 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 because there's three islands of the Virgin Islands, and then there's an olive leaf. I forget what the, the, the branch means, but that's cool. But we are going to Man Estonia, I don't know if it's blue like si it's like light blue, black and white. I don't like their flag very much. No way, Yadi's from Dominican, that's right. I'm sorry. Sorry Yadi, I got you wrong. It's Dominican Republic. Cuba, bunch of people from Cuba. Bunch. Bunch, bunch of ball players from Cuba. Up to Canada. There's a lot from Japan. A lot from the Dominican. It's like a lot of the the islands out, you know, in the Gulf and stuff. It's like in the Atlantic Ocean and stuff down down below in the in the, in the Caribbean. In the, in the Caribbean, you know, it's in the Caribbean. So Croatia, Canada, Belize, Bahamas. That would be cool. Hmm. 
let's see. Let's go ahead and make him USA. Go back. Okay, so USA, and we are from Missouri. Wait, wait. Let's see. USA. Let's see. Nope. What would be cool is like if you picked like a. Uh, like a like let's say you pick Illinois or you pick uh, Ohio or you pick you know the Ohio has two because you got Cincinnati Ohio and you got Cleveland Ohio has two ball clubs we have two ball clubs we have Kansas City Royals and the St. Louis Cardinals but you know you pick like like one of the teams like let's say I pick I'm going to pick Missouri and it changes to the Cardinals or I pick uh, Kansas and it changes to the Royals, which is not going to change the Royals because it'd be either one. I pick um, Georgia and it changes to the Braves. California, I can pick between whatever my room looks like. I can pick between the Dodgers and the the Dodgers, the Padres, the G A's. You know, no, I, I could choose between the, Gi the, the Giants, the Padres, the Oakland. Dodgers are angels, you know. It's like, wow, that's a lot of teams in that one state, yeah. We're going to go from Missouri, since that's where I'm from. What pitcher, what do I want to be here? Catcher, let's see, starting pitcher, closing pitcher, catcher, be three, three, be a three man, four man, well we can be a three man, four man, five man, six man, we got left, center, right fielder, which I am going to be short stop, random. I always bat to twitch because it's so much easier for me. Now it can be the pure power. It can be small ball. It can be rock steady. Mr. Utility. Which is Paul Molitor and Cattell Marte. Which could tell is actually one of my favorites. Look how the trophy changes. The anomaly. You got speed, power. Willie Mays and Ronald Acuna Jr. A lot of, yeah. But now you're gonna be Randy. And Randy and Arena, whatever I call him. How you pronounce his last name? We are going to do golf ball, got the soccer shoes, got the pair of power, we're, we're just going to do the anomaly because it's just, it's one of my favorite places now. What do you want to start out with, my person? Uh, See, jump start, improved ability, hit pitches, zero, zero, and zero count. And a piece. Huh. So 
we can go the top gun guy we can do the naval captain we can do the hoagie can carmichael the heart and soul or we can be the call of the lightning rod <laughs> you know <laughs> let's see tier two plus let's see uh, okay so we're gonna take Lightning Rod, Maverick. And let's see. We can do now. First name. Tyler Davidson. Tyler Davidson. Tyler Davidson. Tyler 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 Davidson. 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 That's it. Okay, so that's basically it there. Now we got a thing. They won't let us change our appearance right at the beginning. So. Just days before the 40 round MLB draft, some lesser known prospects get one last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Day. Before taking his swings, this prospect shares a word with another prospect who just finished up. There it goes. That's out of here. Huh. Eh, well, wasn't enough. There it is. Oh, there's another one, another home run. Hey. Oh my! Ah! There it goes. They're all being they're all being pretty good so far. Off the. Oh yeah. There you go. Is that going to be out of here? No. Yep. Sometimes, it only takes a simple word or two to establish trust in others, which helps during evaluation.
hop. Oh, now. There you go. Nice. Okay, we're going to get this one here. Let's see. Okay, we got a little average, but we got above average power, above average speed, above average fielding, and a about above average arm. So we're I could fix it where I could change my secondary positioning to second base because that, that, that would be another one I could play. Everyone has a personality, even a ball player. That personality influences how they respond to their teammates and their coaches. do this one because these two I'm not going to get very much out of anyway but I want to see if I can get one of the cool because you can see uh, like that's gonna be a pretty big deal for me okay what's your options this guy up a little bit, bit differently because um make him different so that way that um i can actually have my guy look a little better i would say second base is going to be the one i want to play is it normally shortstop second shortstop second yeah. um, you can't change your actual position your position's locked in and what you want to play but then Now we're going to go to appearance. Turn off this heat. It's hot in here, guys. It is. I'm, I am literally burning up right now. And, and 
this house. This house is pretty oof. Okay, we're back. Now, let's see. Let's do some physical appearance. Let's see. Let's get our body looking good. Okay. My skin tone is going to be a little bit lighter. I'm a little bit like that. Much more. There you go. Like that. Height. So let's see. Seven five. So I'll just. I'm. S three four. I'm six. No. Five foot. I'm a tiny guy. Now uh, let's just do. Six foot. Well, well, let's do six foot one. 185 pounds. I don't know. We'll just do 210. Okay. Body type's going to be husky, buff, fat. Bar oh, not not like fat fat. You'd be husky, like Bar Bartolo Colon husky. Would be like extremely husky, but because see, Bartolo Colon is not like fat. He's got muscular structure, but Bartolo Colon has more of a uh, roundness to him. It's not like he's gonna be like like a gut that's out here that's hanging over that looks like when you sit down and you get the big belly that comes hanging over, casting that shadow over you know your per se your thing you know whatever. But uh, Bartolo Colon has that that sporty fat. I have a pretty big neck. Now I think my shoulder and collarbone are fine. Arms are let's see. Let's go ahead and do 60 on the arms. I have a little bit longer arms than normal. Be about 60. Spinal, hips, thighs, they're all fine. Done with that. Let's see. Let's get the head here. Let's see what the head looks like. Uh, head size is going to be a 50. And how I know that? I've been sized for a hat before. Low point to the high point. Okay, the head's fine. That's because usually you're not going to worry about your head. Crown height. My crown's pretty good. It's at a 47. Temple death is 42. Base position. I want to see something. A 37 would be fine. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Now let me see what the shape is going to look like here. Let's see. There, there is a custom shape that looks really good for me. Right there. Cool. Now we got the hair. We're gonna do. No, we're not gonna do the black one. We got the mid. I look like a freaking 50s ball player right there. Look like Red back in the day. Red Shandy Chris, man. Come on. Red Shandies. Why not? Short forward. Short back. Spiky. Yeah, but it still looks like it's got the texture of like the black hair like 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 African American hair has the texture. Let's see what else we got here. Pompadour. Hey, that's cool. Medium black slick. Ah, I like that one. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do That's the part of that's what I had for years. As a child though. I never did the middle. There's part of was there a part left? Balding, a oh, bohawk. Yes. No, oh, the retro flip. There you go. The flowing curly. There he is. There's Matt Antonelli. <laughs> there you go. It's Matt Antonelli right there. It's not blonde, but it's it's brown still. Uh, let's see. Retro? No. Mullet? No. 
Let's see, Birdman. Now, why would you have a basketball player's haircut in the baseball game? I don't understand. That's the Birdman. The one with the guy with all the tattoos in basketball. The one that had all the tattoos up in his neck and stuff. That's the Birdman. Played for New York for a while. Rat tail. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of Pauly D either. When it comes to the hairstyle, but the hawk. That's sexy right there. The curl. Eh. The curly mohawk. Eh. Wild thing. There it is. There it is. There's Vince Vaughn. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Old school. Oh. That's a 60s mo. That's a 60s fro. The fro shags. The the new style. This is where you got the real short fro. This is the me. This is the fro. The big fro. Then you got the fro shag, which is a medium fro. It's like a shaggy fro kind of thing. Uh, dreads. Dreads are cool. But I'm not gonna disrespect any ball players that wear dreads. So I'm not gonna wear the dreads. The nest is alright. That's what my hair used to look like. Grown man. That's a sexy looking hairstyle right there. The hawk fade. Oh no. Business class. I tie. I used to have my hair a lot of times. The Viking. What's a Viking? Oh. VIP. Eh. Double fade. Faded on both sides. Yeah. And the twist. Let's twist again. Basically, the, the hair is braided, twisty. It's just twisted. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the spiky. That's my hairstyle. Has been for years. Okay. Now we go to color. It's going to be brown. Dark brown here. Let's see. Get like right about there. Well, it's not black. There. No, I'm gonna make it darker than that. There it is. That's how dark my hair is. Sideburn style. Let's see. You want pointy? No. You want short? Yeah. Because that's how I have mine now. Facial hairstyle, let's see. Soul patch, most us. No, let's see, I wanna get. Let's do. Right there. That's pretty much how my soul. Oh, I wanna see if there's anything else we can get. Wait, 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 wait. That's what I had with a chin strap at one time. C is going to be our best bet right now. Jeez. Is it? I'd say medium probably where we need to be on that one. Okay, let's see. We need to... What else can we add to it? You don't want, unless you're going to build your own facial hairstyle out of these parts, you just, if you find one that works, if you, basically if you find one that works with you, just use the one, don't, don't build on top of it and put it like three or four or five facial hairstyles. Because it's not going to be right, it's just, it's just going to be wrong, because you're going to have too many layers on there, it's like, you know, I don't know. Do I have any blemishes? 
No, I do not have any blemishes, but I have more. No. Moles, I have one of my own. Let's see. Right side. Yep. Aged. Pop marks. Gritty. Type A. Type B. We gotta fix that. We gotta fix that though, because we need just a. <sighs> I wish you only do like one. Ten. Cheekbones. Let's see. Uh, some big cheekbones too apparently. Okay, now we got the eye here. The eye color is going to be uh, I can't really tell. Uh, probably right there. Right eyes, okay. Gotta make some eye bags because I have plenty of those. I do. Like right there. <laughs> okay, crow's feet. Don't have any crow's lines yet. I'm not that Eye scale needs to be a little bit about 40, I think. Eye region, eye positions. Uh, let's see. Probably right about there. I'd say probably right, right about there is my eyes. Eye depth detail. Let's see. Uh, bring them out to a little bit like right there. Okay, cool. Bottom eyelid. Let's see. Uh, right there. Detail is going to be. You just going to walk? Nah. Oh, there's not. There's going to be no squint. Their rotation is going to be fine. Probably that right there. Eyebrow shape, let's see, normal. I would say probably those bees, and we're gonna do the eyebrow colors. Yeah. Always. Oh, I like how it keeps the color of your facial hair all the same. Your hair, your eyelid, your hair, your eyes, your eyebrows, and your facial hair is all gonna be exactly the same color, so it's gonna keep it that way. Brow bin, I don't have brow bin, I don't have no brow I'm just gonna keep the brow position there. He's chewing his gum, blowing bubbles and stuff. Okay. Nose. Uh, tip, let's see. Nose tip, let's see. Get up, gotta go right about there. That's what I'm saying. Okay, nose tip two. Uh, jut it out just a little bit. Look over a little bit back up there. Like that. There you go. Nose bottom is gonna be uh Right there. Width is going to be. Whew, can't see the width. Oh, it's a bridge section. Okay. Right there. No bump, which is. Yeah, it's kind of like, kind of like that. I don't have a protruding bump, I don't think. Uh, no size is going to be. Let's see. Um, bridge width is going to be just a. Little Uh, bridge width's got to be a little bit further, let's see. Bridge width. Let's go ahead and make it like there, okay. That's it. Nostrils, space flare is not going to be flare. Those nostrils now is going to be like they're they're big, but they're not super big. Probably 
probably about 10 and let's see, probably about 20 or 30 on the flares. Yeah, there. This is going to be. Much better. I'm just going to randomize it. I'm just going to kind of... There, that's better. Ears, now let's see. I have pretty big ears. Intrusions, let's see. Uh, they stick out somewhat like that. Rotation is going to be kind of like that. Position is going to be like that. Uh, I have a pretty big lobe. Let's see if I get it up here. Right, right there. Well, I'll go up a little higher. There you go. Air detail, let's see. Uh, okay. Middle air detail, okay. Alright. Upper air detail, okay. There you go. <laughs> this guy looks nuts, though. I want you to go back to the eyes, just randomize the eyes, and then put the brown color in there. Okay. Go back to the eyebrows, I just randomize the eyebrows now, too. Randomize the nose, there you go. Ears, yes. Randomize the jaws, randomize the mouth. equipment customized here. Let's I know. We're gonna use the Marie's bat, which is number one. The Posey twenty eight is a bona fide bomb dropper. Inspired by Maurice's partner Buster Posey. 
The bat features a massive barrel and a thin handle, resulting in inload feel power hitters love and that unmistakable boom that goes with it. Ritual, let's see. We'll do the number one supporter for right now. That's all we've got. Okay, we'll go back. We'll do socks next. No socks. No glasses. Bat grips. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Crushing sleeve. We need that. I'd say so. Wrist guard. Franklin. Shin guard. No. Not to get a better one. Play guard. We're not going to be catchers. We don't need any of that. Please, we're going to wear the diamonds. Mizuno's dormant twos. Door two features Mizuno's iconic nine spike configuration. We designed that emphasized superior comfort, soft flexibility, and enhanced cushioning. And, uh, I don't have any fixed black lines signature web. And we got the diamond. Marie's hitting gloves. Yep. And there you go. That's basically how we just finished that. You know what? I'm going to check here. Team default. Let's see. Team color one. Team color two. Team color three. Team color one. Put it, I always put them on my glove side hand when I do it. Okay. Now we're going to go here and do our glove too. Fake color is going to be... Oh, you can't do team color. So I'm blue or red first. We're going to do blue this time. Quest style is going to be pro one, pro H. Solid piece. Five trapeze. I'd say pro I or pro H is going to be uh, pro H. Red color is going to be a red. We're going to have a blue. We're going to have a red on the inside. Blue on the inside. And a red here. And we're going to have a red there. And we're going to have a Red piping. We're gonna have red piping throughout the entire glove. It's the binding and the welting colors. They're it's like piping basically. What they call them. piping. We're gonna have glove finger out. No, we're gonna do the glove finger in. That's what that extra fabric is over there today. No, no. We gotta do my Oh, so you can basically, okay. Girl color is going to be red, well, blue. We have a red there, okay. Yellow color is going to be yellow gold, and purple, blue, black. No, we're going to do gold. Keep it the way it is. Cape time spiral, cross, none. We'll do the, the spiral. I don't know. Okay. I think we're ready to see what 
my attributes are here. We got a 40, 40, 65, 65, 50, 45, 45, 45. So everything's 45 and above. And my batting. Everything is. Damn. My current cap is at a seven. Holy, my current my current is like eighty right now. Cause I have that extra ten speed there. That's cool. We're, we're good. Let's go play some games. And we are playing on a uh, veteran. Batting and all star pitching. We're playing on batting on veteran for right now because I want to get a feel for my guy. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the West region and the prospects from the Central region. Lee Bradshaw, a right-hander from the Keystone State, gets the ball as the starter in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, this guy also uses that pitch that's kind of in vogue in the game now, that cutter. It looks to the hitter like a four-seam fastball, and the next thing you know, it's running in on you. Mariano Rivera used that pitch exclusively in the ninth inning and broke a lot of bats, and this Got guy it, joins a long list of guys man. that have added yeah. the cutter to his repertoire. Man. The 0-2 home. Short hit hard. Three, three, three. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Damn. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now, Mikey Warbone. Sliced two, hard on the two, ground. Two. Fielded cleanly. Bare-handed for one. Uh, Back to first, but it's right by him. Right now? Why is that? Why? Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, Tyler Davidson. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. In now, Antonio Villarreal. The windup and the 0-1. On the ground out to short, reined in. And there's out That's number that. two. Digging in the switch hitter, Chet Yeager, a hit in two tries so far. The 0-1 on the move for second. A bouncer up the middle, scooped up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So stepping in, Tyler Davidson, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Digging in once again, Phil Chapman. He singled his last time up. Chapman. Better than I do with his eye. To the left side. He's got a hurry. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Striding in once again, Tyler Davidson. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The 0 and 1 delivery. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hey, let it fly, let it fly right here. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. A 
swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Go hard, go hard, go hard, go hard. That'll be off the wall in right center. When it left this bat, it had a chance to get out of here. He'll definitely take a double off the wall of the showcase game, though. It was enough to demonstrate his power, which every scout in the ballpark is looking for. He's going to be very happy with that one. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the central. Number 21, Ryan Batista. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bruntlett moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number guys. one. Like, wait a minute. Now it is go back. Been hitting for the central. Number 16. Demi. Rodriguez. Throw behind the runner at second. And he'll dive back in safely. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. All right, come on now. Now a spin and another no, throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back in there. Sent on the ground out to second. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Big hitting for the central. Number four, Johnny Marlin. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Lopez is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. It's a run on two hits, one left. Hey, one down, one down Stepping right up to the plate, Alfaro Rosado, right. 0 for 2 on the Alvaro. afternoon so far. To reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Right to him. On to first, and there were two down. Digging in, Ramon Guerrero. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third. Hit on the ground out to short. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we are all three apiece. Point Guerrero comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the ninth. Hey, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. It's really pretty simple. He's here at the showcase to show scouts he can contribute at the major league level. When he has at bats like that one, no notching solid field. base hits, Ryan. the scouts are going to sit up and take notice. The 3 0. And that That's misses ball four. Ball four. So now the potential winning run moves right, into scoring on, position where a single could end this thing. Digging in now, Sammy Rodriguez. Like a the winning run at second. <laughs> However, the double play Rodriguez. in order here. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one right, down. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it and there. And they will get, no, he's in there. A very close play at first. Now batting, Johnny Marlin. Right and he has a great opportunity to win it here. Winning run at third base, nobody out. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Lopez is there and he's got it for the first out. Come on, guys, don't screw this up. Next will be the yeah, designated hit. hit. Ralph just just hit it in the outfield. I don't care. He's going to bring home the winning run from third. On the ground to the right side and through a base hit. And they're going to walk off with a 4 3 victory. Hey. Always great when a game really comes down to the ninth inning like it did here. They had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. Lots of smiles around here right now. A one-run finish, 4-3 to three in the final the tally the today. Game? The Central Prospects.
came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Quinn Harper earns the victory on the mound. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vasco. Well, guys, that's how we do it in the ninth. That's how we do it. That's how we play the game. It's why we play the game. It's almost 5 o'clock already. Jeez. Sorry, I, I had to uh, change that up, but. Good game. Nice. Okay, day two of Tommy Shakoy's your last chance to make an impression on scouts and front office personnel for all the made thirty major league teams before your first year player draft. It could be could be a make or break day for your draft stock, so hold nothing back. Play ball. Three. He's out. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Davidson. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Out in front of it, strike one. Ooh, that wasn't good. Okay, east. Come on. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. Oh, and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in yeah, the yeah. air. Navarro will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Tyler Davidson, lifted the other way down the left field line. And no one will track it down. Good. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball. That'll be a good lead. Keep driving. Let's go, kid. Inside, ball one. Hey, find some green, baby. Find some green. Ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Left fielder giving chase, and they can't run it down. Lifted the other way to left Go! center. And he will run this one down, oh, moving to his man. right, and that's the first out of the inning. Dang it. Ready once again, Hoyt Pena. The batter number six. Shortstop, Hoyt, Pena. The 1-2. On a line to shortstop, and the runner gets back. No double play. Striding forward now is the DH, Mackenzie Richardson. Mackenzie Richardson. The 1-1 one, one home. Two, two, two. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Ready now, Randall Fish. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. The 2 1 home. All right, come on. Four. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. The Eastern Prospects lead it two to one. Douglas Tamori is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Douglas. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that is off the wall. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. When it left this bat, it had a chance to get out of here. He'll definitely take a double off the wall in a showcase game, though. It was enough to demonstrate his power, which every scout in the ballpark is looking for. He's going to be very happy with that one. 
Now in the box, Johnny Marlin, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back to avoid Dang the double play. It. It would take up better than that. Your attention, please. In hitting for the central, number 26, Allen Silva. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. In hitting for the central, number 16, Sammy Rodriguez. Grounded weakly toward third. Gonna All right, be hold a up, tough hold play. Up. Good job. Throw on to first, oh. gets him, and the side is retired. Ready so no go. runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man. To the plate now is the designated right, hitter, Mackenzie designated Richardson. Hitter. He singled Mackenzie. his last time up. Richardson. Smoked on the ground up the middle. There's one. Relay to first oh. in time, and just like that, this side is retired. One hits all they get. We played eight full. The East Stars lead it two to one. Oh, I got moved up. Huh. Digging in and looking for more. Tyler Davidson. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. He's set. Here it comes. And he throws the fastball by him here. Oh, and one. Too jumpy. No, it was actually pretty good on that one. Oh. A good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Torres leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swung on and crushed. Everyone just stands there and watches it fly. There you go. That's how we play. That's why we play right there. Baby, that's a good shot. Yeah. A two-run blast to straightaway right field Woo! as they've taken a one-run lead. Yeah, and the scouts love the fact that he has the power to go deep. But I'll tell you what they love even more. A hitter that can rise to the occasion with runners on base. A hitter that can clutch up. All set for the yep. bottom of the ninth. And set the, to go is the, the third down. baseman, Kurt the third Clark. Baseman. All right, we got to watch this. we got to be careful here. The one, two. Down and gets it as this is bounced to short. And there's one gone to start the bottom of the ninth. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Michael Escobar takes home the win. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. We'll give up two runs in the end. For the visitors, three runs on seven hits. Two errors with 13 runners left Actually, we give up a run. Time of the ball. And we go play it. Oh, my God. 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us. That's why being the home team is the best thing about it, because once you hit a home run or you score the winning run, it's over. I mean, there's no way they can – because they can't bat again. But if you're the visitors and you take the lead in the ninth, you got to be careful not to give up the – deal at the end okay so with nothing left to do but await his fate this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach who's been acting as his advisor through the process huh. Tyler I believe since the first year I coached you, 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 you that, that you got big league potential. Since some smart, some smart GMs is going to see what I see. Huh.
Welcome back to the Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first pick, the Detroit Tigers select the shortstop from the Central Region. I went round 15? So what the hell do you have to do to be drafted in the first round? Do you have to have every home run? You have to hit a home run every at bat? In the f but I don't know. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. Ty, we just got a call. You've been waiting for You've been drafted to round 15 by the Tigers. While being selected is a major milestone, new draftees still face long odds of ever making it to the big leagues. Okay. Now we're playing with the Sea Wolves. Okay. And, as we do, Who am I? Oh. Oh. Okay. That's quite a hard fought thing because Willie Castro is their, their shortstop right now. Right? But he's only 23. They play me as. Where's me? Where am I at? Where am I at? I don't even see anyone here. Where's Tyler? Where's Tyler? I'm in double A ball too. I'm only 18 though, but Will Castro, good lord. Ooh. You got Nick Goodrum too. And you got Todd Brown, Zach Short, Sergio Alcantara. Yeah, Alcantara is in there still. set the way I want them, okay. And uh, we're playing bedroom. Let's make sure we're in bedroom mode before we second base secondary positions. I am a shortstop. I have a good power in that hand. Power is at 50. Vision's not too, not terrible, but it's not good. It can get better.
going to the American League this time. I like playing just like random teams pick me because it just makes me because because I could I could get put in the National League or the American League and it just a different whole different thing. I could bat DH or I could be the ninth full, the ninth hole player. A lot of times. The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Erie Seawolves and the Altoona Curve. It's baseball. It's the show. Altoona and Curve. it comes your way next. Now these are, I, I don't know if these are, some of these are, may not be actual minor league. Blake Cedarland gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. And we'll see if that starts in this day. Grounded to first. And a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Davidson. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. A swing and a drive go, go, sent go, go. out toward go, the gap. You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. Go, 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 go. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. And he'll get there without a play. It's a stand-up triple. Woo! Digging in to try it again. Riley Green. Now that's the center fielder. Riley Green. Popped up. Jones moving to his left. And that ends the inning. A run on two hits and they leave one. On now to the bottom of the second. The Seawolves are out on top. One to nothing. Yep. So digging in now. Jiwon Bay. Now 0 for 1 here in the early going. Up. Go, now. now the 2-1. Hit hard. Short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Into the box now, Tyler the Davidson. Right there, right and the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. In yep, tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Oh. Right, Bases are empty, right one man out. Hey, she didn't rip it there. Now he goes the other oh, way, oh, and he yeah, got yeah, a yeah. lot of it on, high go, and go, deep go. to left center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. All right, hang on, hang on. Right there, right and here. And he'll pull into second hey, with one okay, away. Nice and with hit. that double, he's two for two and halfway to the cycle. Gave it a good ride, and that's the second time he's barreled up the ball. So he's seeing the ball really well. See if his teammates can pick him up and bring him home now. So the lineup flips over and now digging back. in. Riley <laughs> Green, one for two Riley. in the ball game thus far. Mm. Soft liner to the left side. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. All right, here we go. Stepping in, Danny Woodrow. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now the one and one pitch. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Yeah, man, I think his only hope is to try to get out of this fourth inning and maybe try to regroup for the fifth. But this is eight hits he's given up already, so he might even have trouble doing that. Stepping into the box, Tyler oh, Davidson. Oh, bats here with a double and a triple on his line in this one. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Dang so it. now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. 
Yeah, the pitching coach takes a stroll out to the mound, and with the pitcher this young, you just want to let him know that he's out there for a reason and to trust what got him here is good enough to get him through this. So the batting order turns over now and set to now go. Batting. Riley Green, he's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Green. This one's down to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. The tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. So they pick up three runs on six hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Coming to the plate oh, now, flag. Tyler Davidson. Two Number outs 13. and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Down the first nope. baseline. Let it rip right here. We need it. No, you do, guys. 0 oh, and 1. Here it comes. Good slider there. Gets oh, a swing yeah. and miss. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing Outside, on it. That's the ball. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. High fly ball out to straightaway run it on, center. Run it on. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play, and uh, that ends the go. inning. Why? Stepping in, Juwan Bay. He could really go. use a knock here, curve. 0 for 3 in the Not game so stop. far. It does very hey. promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Oh. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. At the plate, Stefan Alamez. No He's working no on a two. 1 for 3 Second thus far. Man. The 2-2. Two -two. Rounded back up the middle. Reined in. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jiwon Bay. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take yep. it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. The Erie Sea Wolves took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Matt Manning gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Blake Cedarland was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. One more game. Welcome to MLB The Show. We're going to call it quits. Striding into the box, Batting Travis third. Swaggerty. Couple Just of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now at the plate, Tyler Davidson. He also had three hits in the win last night. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. <clears throat> and a big moment for him there. His first home run as a double-A <laughs> player. Yeah, and you always like to get those first out of the way, no matter what level you're playing at. Obviously, he's got aspirations to play in the big leagues, and this is exactly the kind of production that this organization is going to be looking for from him as his career progresses. That's gone. That's off the Ooh. Off the side out there. So striding forward now, Sean again. Hudson Don't as he'll get his first opportunity oh. in this one. Hudson. Ground ball sent back two, up two, the middle. Two. He's got it. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left. Now at the plate, Travis That's Swaggerty. Better. He reached on a single in his first try. He's ready. Here's the 0-1.
Ball left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. And that just looked like a really tough play right there. Had a little trouble getting it out of his glove, and it cost him. It made all the difference right there, boys. He had to be perfect with the speed getting down the line. Line towards center field. Go, go. Swaggerty is there, and he has it for the first out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Bly Madris. Lots of baseball left in it. We're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big... Settling in now, Nolan Oliger. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Nolan Oliger. Bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. And an underhanded out. throw is in time yep. for out number three. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No. Tyler Davidson will stand now in here hoping to duplicate number what he did 13. back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First pitch of the at-bat. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Hey, let fly, All let set fly. to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the switch-hitting shortstop, Tyler Davidson. Out in front of it, strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Dang yeah, it, just great approach. No one really chased like today. I have power to really stayed the staunch on, go, uh, on their it. ability to get that pitcher. Standing in, Stefan Alamez. No he comes no to the two. plate as the last the chance for his side. Yeah, two yeah. out here in the ninth. Hit oh, back okay. up the middle. He's got it. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. Eerie. So we're going to quit there, I think. That's a good place to stop. I'm going to see how many, how many more I have left. It wasn't good, though. I got a home run. That was it. Oh, well, so we only got one more left. We're going to go ahead and play it real quick. We only got one more left in the series. Might as well quit at the end of the series instead of... Do I have to go to the bank tomorrow to pick up some money from mom? Cause I gotta remind myself to go to the bank tomorrow. I gotta get stuff done. Minor league baseball is. What's the play ball? Three. Digging in, Bly Madris looking for better results than last night when he went 0-4 for 4 in that. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now at the plate, Tyler Davidson. He went deep in the contest last night. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Around first, he's digging for second. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Yep. At the plate, Riley Green, runner in scoring position with two gone. Riley Green. Here's the payoff pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Pick up the ball. Come on, come on, come Throw on. Get first will get, get him easily, and the side is retired.
Stepping into the box, Tyler now Davidson. Back. He'll try to Number follow 15. up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Right, Interested to see if he has it, the it. same approach this A.B. Nice and they shot, keep nice the shot. inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Standing in, Riley Green. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Riley Green. Here it comes, 0-2. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. One hit, one left. At the plate, Tyler Davidson. He singled his last time up. Hey, let her rip, let her rip, let it go. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled off. Oh. Hey, here we go. Now big the guy. pitch. Wait for yours. Oh, he jumps oh, on this up. one. Get it's up, high and deep to center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That's bull crap. Come on, man. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Altoona led this game from the third hey, inning on and never wavered. Cody Ponce earns his first win of the season. Alex Fajardo was only able to work four innings. That's it for us tonight, guys. I guess I'm going to call it a game. A game. We just played our first three games. And we went two and three, which is not bad. So we went 70. We, we went six point. So, so we have a 66 we have a .666 win percentage. So that's, that's good. Starting off, we're over 500 still, so that's good. But uh, we got the Liberty Bell. Whatever that is. What is a double A? Let's see what we got here. What is a double-A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. Hey, Tyler, if you're looking at your maximize your development as a hitter, batting cage is an open door on, on off days, too. Good to know. Thanks. Your off days are on your own, but every bit of extra time you can commit to developing your batting skills can make a difference. Make a difference will make a difference. Let's give it a try. So we're going to quit here. We're going to go and we're going to save it. That is it, guys. Peace out.